Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. Even when we do outward deeds, we don't do it so that men can see it, so that they might praise us. We have ample scripture against that. That's about half or over half of the Sermon on the Mount. Matthew chapter 5, 6 and 7. When you give, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Don't be like the Pharisees. The Pharisees, anytime they were going to do a good deed, anytime they were going to give a generous donation, they literally announced it with trumpets. I mean, these guys are like character shirts. They're, they're, it's, it's comical. You know, it's like he's coming to the offering plate and there's, there's the marching band, there's the drums and the cymbals and, you know, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da, I'm good. You know, like, don't do that. But there is a sense in which the scripture says that our good deeds should be seen before men because we want them to recognize that there is a God in heaven and that his people reflect his divine nature. Christians should be better than other people. They should. That doesn't mean we're inherently better. Right? Let's be clear about that. We could look at the most vile of sinners and say, as the Puritans did, there go I but for the grace of God. But here's the key. But for the grace of God. The Christian now has the grace of God. We are not egalitarians. We are not Marxists. We are Christians. We believe in the Father and the Father's world and living in accordance with the Father's rules. And one of the things that the Father has built into the fabric of human society and the world and the creation of the cosmos that he made is hierarchy. And hierarchy is not immoral. Hierarchy can be abused just like any other good thing. Good things can be abused. But hierarchy is not inherently a bad thing. And the reality is that if someone is in fact a Christian, they should be morally superior to the unbeliever. Inherently? By birth? By our own, our own doing? No, of course not. There go I, but for the grace of God. But if you have the grace of God, you should be able to see it. The grace of God should be efficacious. The grace of God does something. It does something. And it doesn't just provide fire insurance. It doesn't just save the soul, but it actually changes a man. It doesn't just save us, but, but the grace of God sanctifies us. That we're actually being forged more and more into the likeness of Christ. That we actually look different. We look different. And not just different, but if we were to be more specific about that difference, we could define that difference as morally superior. Christians are better. They are. And if they're not, then our faith is in vain. What are we doing? What are we doing? Do we believe in a God who raises the dead? Not just literally, but as we'll see in our text today, figuratively, it's not only the doctrine of glorification that he will bodily raise us from the dead to be with him forever, but that he actually takes people who were dead in their sins and makes them alive in Christ Jesus. I've been crucified with Christ, dead and buried. I no longer live according to the flesh, but I have been made alive in Christ. I'm a new man, a new creature in Christ Jesus. If you are a new man, if you are a new creature, Act like it. Live in faith. Not just saving faith to justify the soul for a moment, but sanctifying faith. The way in, let me say it like this, the way in is the way on. All right, all right, all right. Stop twisting my arm. I know you want to hear the inside scoop. Here it is. The glorious vision of Right Response Ministries for the first half of next year, 2023. We have not one, not two, but three massive endeavors that we will accomplish by the grace of of God. The first you already know about. It's our Theonomy and Postmillennialism Conference, May 5th, 6th, and 7th, with James White, Joe Boot, Gary DeMar, Dale Partridge, and yours truly, Pastor Joel Webbin. This is selling out incredibly fast. By the time this commercial airs, you may not even be able to get a ticket. I, I, I really don't know. So don't waste another moment. Go to rightresponseconference.com, rightresponseconference.com to join us for the Theonomy and Postmillennialism Conference next year. Now, this is where you come in. We need your help. Our next two endeavors are number one, a documentary style film, and number two, a brand new studio. 
Both of these things are seeking to accomplish one primary goal, which is excellent, high-quality, glorious Christian media. We are tired of, of, as Christians, doing things poorly. We've done our best with what we have, but by God's grace, we want to do even better. This is not going to be just another video. This is not going to be a sermon or an interview or a podcast, but we're going to make a documentary style film. And we're going to be hiring Nathan Anderson, the director of On Earth As It Is In Heaven, a very, very successful post-millennialism documentary that's on Amazon and YouTube, came out a couple years ago. He's going to be flying in from Chile to help us direct this film. And our documentary is going to be on post-millennialism and theonomy, why it's biblically valid, why it's absolutely necessary, and why, by the grace of God, theonomy and post-millennialism are currently on the rise. So we're going to make this film, and we need your support. And not just this film, but we're going to make all of our videos and podcasting and everything we do here at Right Response Ministries better. We want to achieve the highest level of quality and Christian excellence that we possibly can. That's where the new studio comes in. This new film, our our date that we're shooting for is that it would be complete and publicly available in May or June of 2023, next year. The studio, our goal is that it would be completely done in its construction and the equipment and the setup and the stage and everything by January, February of 2023 next year. We need your prayers. We need your encouragement. And for those of you who are willing to do so, we need your generous support. You can give towards these endeavors by going to rightresponseministries.com forward slash donate. Again, that's rightresponseministries.com forward slash donate. Thank you so much for all your help. God bless.